when you're water running, you want to take about 10 minutes, maybe 15 max, and warm up. That's just to get your muscles ready to go. And you can move when you're doing your warm up. Just keep your back all the way straight and back. Try not to lean forward. And just kind of easy, just like you're running, only your knees are coming closer to the surface. And it's a more pronounced activity, almost like an up and down with your knees. When you feel like you've kind of given your body a good warm up, you want to add intervals in. The intervals in the pool have to be much shorter than any other form of cardio interval because it's much more intense. You're going to shoot your heart rate up and then you're going to need to take a break. So you can either take that break by returning to this easy workout back and forth like this or you can go to the side of the pool and hold on or sit down. Either way. The type of intervals I like for a pool are typically at the longest a minute, then down to about 30 seconds, 15 seconds, and then five seconds. So I'll give you an example of how much faster you go on an interval. I'm gonna move back a little bit. So for instance, here's an interval. As you can see, I dramatically increased my heart rate and utilized all my muscles without any impact. Now I'm going to want to take a break of approximately the same length as the time of the interval. I'm ready to start again.